Hey, everyone. Welcome back. And today we have a treat for your taste buds a mouth-watering sweet potato casserole recipe. Whether you're preparing for a holiday feast or just craving some comfort food, this dish is sure to be a hit. So, let's dive right in. To make our sweet potato casserole, you'll need the following. Four large sweet potatoes, peeled and cubed. One half cup melted butter. One third cup milk. One cup brown sugar, packed. Two large eggs, beaten. One teaspoon vanilla extract. One half teaspoon cinnamon. One quarter teaspoon nutmeg. A pinch of salt. Now that we have our ingredients, let's get cooking. One. Clip of peeling and cubing sweet potatoes. Start by peeling and cubing your sweet potatoes. Boil them until they're fork tender. 2. Mashing sweet potatoes. Once they're cooked, mash the sweet potatoes in a large bowl. 3. Adding wet ingredients. Now, add in the melted butter, milk, beaten eggs, and vanilla extract. Mix it all together until it's nice and smooth. 4. Adding sweeteners and spices. Next, incorporate the brown sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, and a pinch of salt. These spices will give your casserole that perfect warm and cozy flavor. 5. Mixing everything. Mix everything thoroughly, ensuring all the ingredients are well combined. Once your sweet potato mixture is ready, transfer it to a greased baking dish, spreading it out evenly. Now, for the piece de resistance, the topping. For that extra crunch and sweetness, we'll make a simple streusel topping. 1 half cup chopped pecans. 1 half cup brown sugar. 1 quarter cup all-purpose flour. 3 tablespoons melted butter. Mix these ingredients together and sprinkle the streusel over the sweet potato mixture in the baking dish. Baking. Pop it into the preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 degrees Celsius, for about 25-30 minutes or until the top is golden brown. And there you have it a glorious sweet potato casserole. The sweet and creamy base combined with that irresistible crunchy topping makes this dish an absolute crowd pleaser. If you enjoyed this recipe, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more delicious creations. Let me know in the comments what your favorite holiday side dish is, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy cooking!